Hey guys, welcome to another week interview here at Pop Culture. I am Andy, this is Bianca, this is Jess, and uh, we've got another exciting episode of a week interview to show you today, because it's Friday, it's Friday afternoon, the, the week's done, we're going to review it. Uh, what are we going to review? Products that come to the Pop Culture Warehouse, these products. Uh, and we're going to give away prizes, and these prizes this week, ah oh, Bianca, what are they? First up, we've got this really cool Stranger Things upside down backpack. Ooh, spooky Vecna, very, spooky, very cool. Spooky. And, and we also have, please don't fall down, we also have this exclusive <laughs> Indiana Jones to give away. From Temple of Doom, the opening sequence of Temple of Doom. Um, you can win that. How do you win it? Just leave a comment on the feed because Luke is watching this feed, very stream. Uh, people are commenting on the stream. Uh, below the video, there's comments, there's an option, little window, you can put a comment in, do that, uh, because you might win a prize, because Luke's looking for people who are doing exactly that. Uh, and he's taking their names and he's writing those names on our prize wheel. At the end of the episode, we will spin the prize wheel. People are gonna win some prizes. Those aren't the only two prizes. I like to give away prizes. Who knows how many prizes I'm gonna give away this week. Oh. I am crazy to give away <laughs> prizes. I love giving away prizes. Nobody gave away more prizes than this guy, maybe. But I'm not guarantee that, because probably been someone out in the world who's given away a lot of prizes. I'm um, still going to stick on my prize. Where are we? Leave us on prizes. <laughs> What's happening? We? Anyway, <laughs> leave a comment on the feed. Leave a comment on the feed to maybe win some prizes. And um, until then, we will tell you about stuff. And let's start it off with some stuff at the front. None of which I'm talking about. <laughs> well, we're going to start off with, the, with some lounge fire because I'm at the front and so is lounge fire. And this is what we usually do anyway. So let's just start at the very end here. We've got these two really cool uh, Tokyo yeah! Speed themed backpacks, which Jess is very, very excited about because we've got this really cool uh, Karomi one. It's all like shiny. Hey, they go San really fast. Ha. Oh. Ha. Don't do that to my girl, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is pretty cool. So we've got like debossing to kind of bring the car forward. We've got transparent PVC here to give like a real helmet effect and everything. And it's a cute little cosplay backpack. Imagine it's like it's got it's racing stripes. Karomi Bathurst. Uh, it's, not racing stripes. It's, it's, <laughs> it's gimp black. It's nice. <laughs> Real it's shiny. It's not gimp, it's lovely. It's, it's like nice. a latex. It's, it's like a... Yeah, it's like the latex guy from um, American Horror Story. <laughs> anyway, let's just... Not that rapey, though. Anyway, oh, look, look, look my slay. melody. Cute, cute, my melody, also Tokyo Speed. Yay! This one's pretty cute. Um, I love how they've got the kind of like checkerboard going on all throughout the design and everything. Here she is waving a little flag, like, go, go, go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And we've got some cute little pocket details and stuff here. And you can get a look at her special car on the back there, too. I'm a big fan yeah. of the pastel check. Mm. Yeah, it good. is really nice. And um, it's all iridescent up here too. It's all Ooh. sparkly, shiny. Early. Very cute, very pretty, very speedy. Uh, next up we have a Bruce cosplay backpack uh, from Finding Nemo. So this is the scene just kind of create, uh, recreating when he first appears looking a bit frightening with his huge giant maw, but turns out he's, he goes all right, I guess. Um, then we've got Marlon and Dory on the front there with Z uh, Z <laughs> Nemo as a zipper charm. I kept trying to combine those words somehow. Zemo. Yeah. Zemo. Finding Zemo, everybody. Yay. It's so exciting. All right. Not meant for Christmas. We've got a couple of bags here. Uh, this one is good because it's an all-over print and it glows in the dark. And it, it, it seems like it's got a really strong glow, which is awesome. What's this? Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's zero, situation. zero glows. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. It's got a very, very strong glow. Yeah. The yeah. bass really awesome. glows as well. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Yeah. But um, this is really cool because it always looks kind of like it's glowing in the dark, even in the daytime with the color palette. So I think that's really cool. And then we've got Jack and Sally being all romantic mm. by the spiral hill and everything. And what's extra cool about this is that there's two zipper charms. I haven't seen this Ooh. before. Two is little baddies. Is it necrophilia if they're both dead? Two zipper charms. <laughs> <laughs> two zipper charms. Look, two little baddies. Very, very cute. Yay. All right, it's moving on. Freaking bats. <laughs> <laughs> Love Halloween. <laughs> Next up, Stranger Things Collection. So this is one of the prizes we are giving away today. So this is really cool. We've got all the heroes on top and Vecna on the bottom. There's lots of embroidery and stuff like that and debossing to kind of bring the scene forward. There's a matching wallet as well. 
which is very, very cool. Nice, kind of basic design that kind of There's something on the back everything. of that wallet though. There's a saying. What? There's, um, there's words. There's words. A war is coming to Hawkins. Ooh, yeah. it's a nice summary. Of Thanks for pointing out the words, Spooky. Andy. What, things to come. Yeah, good stuff. Words. Next up. <laughs> Uh, so I believe it's the 25th anniversary of Disney oh, Mulan. No, it isn't. Yeah. No. What is it then? No, I'm just, I'm saying it can't Just be. no. <laughs> just no. Yeah. Anyway, Andy's midlife crisis old. aside. <laughs> Mulan. So this is, um, just a Mushu kind of glittery collection. Um, mm -hmm. it's really cool. It's shiny, metallic. We've got Cricky there. We've got cherry blossoms. And it's all just very, very cute. And we've got a cute little... Um, logo thing on the back there of Mushu as well, looking a bit more frightening than he usually is. And matching wallet. I like the gold detailing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is really cool. And the whole backpack's got a really nice like glitter shine. To Never it has the well. zip on a Lanterlite backpack been so on theme with mm. um, what the rest of the bag is. It becomes part of the trim. It's nice. Yeah, absolutely. Look at those bedroom very... eyes. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, let's, let's move on. A baddie. <laughs> Next up, we have, um, so this is celebrating 100 Ooh. years of Disney storytelling. This is a sketchbook collection. Uh, so it's made to look like a sketchbook with like Disney art and everything. They've got little clear PVC here to kind of replicate sticky tape. Oh. So you've got that kind of scrapbooking theme to it, which is really cool. That's fun. We've got matching ears here, which is really cool. And we've got this backpack. And what's really cool about this is that um, it's also a pin trader. So it's pro ugh, before for a, I can't say the word in there. Perforated. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, so you can add your pins in there, and it does come with a pin to start with, which is really really cool. And we've even got a matching little silicone Ooh. zipper charm there too, which is really cool. But yeah, you can open that up and add all your pins and everything. And yeah, it just looks like a big old book. Ratatouille is an interesting choice yeah. to. Show off. I suppose it's bringing in the Pixar element, <laughs> which is pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, 100 years of Disney, and we've got that um, hit on the back there too. Nice. You can see. 100 years yeah, of 100, wonder. Yeah, 100 oh, years of wonder. Joy. Yay, so exciting. Next up, we've got this Stitch Beach Surprise Collection. Does that door um, open? Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> so scrumps. Ah. In the castle there, <laughs> and also you can actually pull Stitch up and down, oh. so he wow. can like... Terrifying. <laughs> Truly yeah. terrifying. Um, so I believe this is based on a particular scene um, somewhere in Lilo and Stitch, and they've made a cute little collection out of it, so you can go to the beach and be like, yeah, look at my cool Lilo and Stitch collection. Yay! But it's pretty cute. I'm really liking the uh, pastel... Mm -hmm and the gradient kind of going on Love and yeah it is really cool and we've got a cute little beach scene on the back there of stitch and scrump as well oh very scrump nice. diddly umptious very very cute um also in this collection there is a stitch cross buddies so this is kind of like um a passport crossbody bag and what's really cool about these is that there is a little buckle here and you can take scrump off the pocket again. And you can turn it around, so you can hold a drink, oh. or he doesn't have to hold anything at all, so it's up to you. So this is a detachable coin purse or whatever you want to put in there. So that's what's really cool Stitch about the Stitch me sipping on that drank? I mean, I would. It's Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and last up, I know Blake's pretty into this one. Yes! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> This is how into it like it is. All right, that was, that was not goofy. I think it was very goofy. I liked it. I liked that energy. Uh, anyway, um, continue. So, a goofy movie, yeah, road like trip. He down. He down. Uh, go on. All right. So, a goofy movie, road trip. This is pretty cool matching um, wallet and purse. And we've got a double pocket situation going here. So it kind of zips all the way around. And oh, you, you can see the line, it says, hi dad, hi dad. <laughs> which I believe is a reference to the soup, which is mm. right here. Pretty cool. It's all cool. coming together. Yeah, 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 it is really, really cool. And we've also got this guy. 
<laughs> on the back. I don't know this guy. I've never watched the movie properly. Blake, he's summarize also on the this wallet. guy. Ooh. He's a little, um, like your car dashboard dealy. Like a bubble. Yeah, a little bubble head dude. Bubble guy. Oh. Ah. And there the perfect cast Oops, is a reference is. of it being the Goofy movie with Goofy starring Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Precisely. But yay. Goofy movie. And that's Woo. Lounge Fly done for this week. Hot Slay. diggity dang. That yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we got pretty some cool. primitive that has come in, right? Yeah, we do. We have a really cool collab with um, Primitive and mm. a, an artist called uh, Nige. Yes, if Nassos. I'm saying that. Yes, thank you. Um, so this is really, really cool. Um, so we've got Deadpool and we've got Carnage and I forget the name of this guy. Please, Galactus. Andrew. Yes, thank you. Galactus. So that they're all the characters. One is off the Bajanka Janks. I <laughs> am obsessed with the Carnage <laughs> stuff. One is the Bajanka Janks to begin with. Yeah, you can see it. He might have had some at one point. There's his Bajanka Janks. It's way yeah, off, yeah, man. Jenga Jenga and yeah, all yeah, of the joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is, okay, this is a really oh, no, cool one. <laughs> it is really, really cool. Um, I'm obsessed with Carnage. He's like my favorite, um, well, one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. So I was pretty stoked that he was part of this collection. Um, we've yeah. also got Deadpool in this super cool shiny this metallic. Is super cool. Yeah, it is so nice. I've seen some like anatomical like collectible pieces, but this is legit. This is yeah. so good. This is really, like, really yeah, cool. Yeah, you're right. They, they remind me of those, um, yeah, like school, they have those like exploding kind of. Here's all the muscle layers, and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peel the layers the off. Systems. And this one's really cool, I reckon. That's yeah, a yeah, yeah. really like that. sick design, and we've got some foil on the, the bottom there too, so it's all shiny, shiny. Who's the um, very pretty artist again? Uh, Nachos. Nachos. I yeah, believe he, it, it's the pronunciation. Man loves some cardiovascular uh, systems. He does. <laughs> uh, he, did, <laughs> he did a really cool collab with 3D Retro and. Universal a couple of years ago for Designicon where he did like dissected T Rex. Oh, um, that sounds mm, cool. Jurassic Park, um, which was yeah, which is really cool. Yeah, that is cool. Speaking of cool, we've also got apparel in this range. Um, so this is a Deadpool tie dye. So of Ooh, course with primitive, cool. the coolest stuff oh. on the back. Like that's really sick. Mm, I'm mm, really mm. digging the color scheme with that. Um, and we've also got mm. da da da. Carnage. Ah! Nice. Very, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got Galacticus as well. Again, on the back. Mm. Wow, that's got some pop to it. Yeah, yeah. It's good on the white. Really, really bright. Yeah. Like even the primitive logo on the front is just absolutely oh, yeah. popping, which is really, really cool. We also have a hoodie oh. with Carnage ah! on the back. <laughs> Because that is very, very important. I'm so stoked at the amount of carnage in this. But I think this standout apparel piece has got to be the Deadpool split die hoodie. Like, this is really cool. And then we've got the design on the back there. That's very Yubianka. Yeah. Mm. I'm pretty into it. Yeah. It is very, very cool. But, yeah, that's the... Um, that's the range. That that's we've a got. good very, range. Very, very cool. Yeah. A very good range. Yeah. Yeah. Some what are those? Sweet monogram... PVC somethings. <laughs> banks, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Yep. It, is there a slot? Yeah, Turn it around and let's banks. find out. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah Is it banks. off center? Is like, oh, it's no, slanted. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Mm. <laughs> so, Agretsuko and. Gimzo. Yeah! <laughs> Gimzo. Everybody's character. <laughs> <laughs> from the favorite, from our favorite <laughs> holiday movie, <laughs> Gromlins. <laughs> Look at him, that's a Gimzo. I'm sure. Everyone's favourite Easter movie. <laughs> Gimzo. Oh, yeah, his little teeth. <laughs> we've also got like Hello Kitty, we've got Groot, we've got My Melody, we've got a whole bunch of little money boxes that have gone up. I forget where they're Now from. these are officially licensed, no matter how Blake says it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's, apart from games, that's all we've got on the floor today. Do we want to have a look at some games? We may as well, they're right in front of us. Jess, you're very excited to talk about these. Hi. Hi, I've got some stuff to show you. I'm oh. excited to show you. First off, we've got Dungeons and Dragons Adventure Begins, a cooperative board game. So pretty much from what I could gauge from her little gander <laughs> online, 
if you're interested in playing Dungeons and Dragons, but you don't want to have to deal with the whole building a character and rolling for your stats and things like that, you can just have pre-made little characters and play on this board game, which is really good if you have like a bit of like trouble trying to imagine yourself. If your DM's like, we're going to the grassy plains, you're like, I'm in my house. I'm not in the grassy plains. <laughs> I've never seen grass in my. You life. can have little uh, terrains Ooh. and stuff like that in the back, uh, and there's little cards and little d20s as well. Really cute, really nice, really fun. But yeah, definitely one to check out. Next up, we've got another Dungeon Dragons, Bedlam in the Neverwinter, a ready to play three part escape room adventure. Damn. Good word. It comes with all these bits there. Um, one epic tale to three and three act escape room board game. Kind of gives me Cluedo vibes. But more dungeon. Look, you have little heart container thingies. Oh, yeah. Your little hearts. Ooh, really cool. Really interesting. Mm. Next up, uh, we're gonna some. We're gonna some, do some monopolizing with some monopoly. Ooh, monopolizing. Um, first off, we got uh, monopoly Dungeons and Dragons honor, honor among thieves. Thieves. Oh my god, I can't talk today. Wow. I'm so sorry, lads. Wow. We're too excited. I know. Um, set forth on a quest for treasure in the forgotten realms. Um, it's no. monopoly. But Dungeons and Dragons is this easy? Yeah. Mm. What's Mayfair? I can't read that. Anyway, <laughs> a slay. Next up, more Monopoly, uh, Return of the Jedi, Star Wars. Look at Luke. Luke, Luke looks real crusty there. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> oh, um, and look at these little bits you can have. So there's can Leia, a little, dude. a little Wicket, a little uh, Lando, a Chewie, Han. Uh, Princess Leia and an Ewok? It says Wicket. Yeah. Wicket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Chewbacca's yeah. an Ewok. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> someone do the song, someone do the song, thank you. In the Andrians, I've never seen it. Um, it's Monopoly and these are your little bits. You can have his hat, you can have a lasso. I'm guessing that's, I've seen that a bit, that seems important. Mm. A motorbike, a minecart. Snacks. So what? The minecart is a snake. The minecart. Oh, oh snicker. <laughs> the minecart is from Temple of Doom. This is from Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, and that is from um, uh, Last Crusade. And then you've got um, motorcycle hat and mm, paper money in this economy. <laughs> um, slay. And the next up, finally, we have uh, finally Monopoly Junior Super ba -da -ba 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 Mario. <laughs> 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 Um, so this one I believe is just like a Monopoly that's a bit easier oh, good. for oh. <laughs> Honestly, younger I kids to understand. I love Monopoly. Monopoly is great. No, I don't just, care. What's that one? In Time Out. Oh, I love that. Instead of being you're going to jail, it's In Time Out. Child <sighs> friendly Monopoly. but you can Some be <laughs> kids' parents are in jail. They understand the concept. <laughs> Boy. We got that Peach. Was we got Mario. We got Yoshi. We got Luigi. Yes. Where's Luigi. Wario? Wow, where's Waluigi? And it plays iconic wow. coin sound from Super Mario. But ding! But ding! But ding! Hey Jess. Hey Jess. Yo, yo. I'm pretty keen to hear about those movie tarot cards. Oh, I'm keen to talk about those movie tarot cards, Bianca. Wow. Mm, movie tarot. So this is a tarot deck that features all the major arcana is uh, characters from a range of movies what and things range? like that. Anything. We've got... Let me open it. Let me show you. Show me. I'm going. I'm going. Well, well, first up, the Ooh. only card that matters. No, I, feel like, I feel like we're rushing the experience of opening that box. Let's walk no, through no, okay. it. So, so you get a little booklet. Mm -hmm. It tells you all the means of the cards. And then it has a little band around it so you can protect the cards. But remember, when you do get a tarot deck, what you do is you have to put it in a little bag and keep it by your pillow so you can sleep next to them so they actually gauge your aura and things so your cards get to know you better. I do like that. I also I like on the, the packaging. I thought the cards were meant to tell you about me. <clears throat> on the packaging, inside of the packaging, some really nice like foil treatment. That one. Ooh. Oh, even on the front, like it's shiny. all yeah. really shiny. It's really mm. nice. It's really cool. Anyway, the only card that matters is the lovers and this broke back mountain. Yes. The only thing that matters. Happy you pride. want an Happy so pride. Extra examples. Extra examples. Extra examples. Let's so go, we got go, go. Uh, sound of music as the sun. We got Kill Bill as judgment. Ooh, uh, fifth element as the world. Sick. Who's that? Okay. 
someone. Man. Someone. It's just a man. Move on. All right. Yes, and then, of course, with every every tarot deck, they go through the minor arcana, which is kind of like your sweets. So in regards to that, it'll be the pentacles, the swords, the wands, and the cups, which is Ooh. your minor arcana. So they all have different meanings. You'd never won the ten of swords. That's the worst <laughs> card in the deck. Um, death is good. Uh, who's that? Is that Fight Club? Yes. No? Maybe. Yeah. Looks like. Who's it. that? It's Bill Murray. What? What's that? Help Zorro slay. Who's that? Oh, no, that's... No, it's not La La Land. Uh, the Matrix. Knight of Coin. Yo. Where's the Lydia card? Angelina Jolie as Lara Croft. I love these movies. I think they're great. It's such a weird... King of Coins solution. is Willy Wonka. Oh, yeah. That's good. It's uh, like a sort of movie from 1997 and then Willy Oh, wait, Wonka. is that... It's, what's her name? Ridley? Ridley? Yeah. A strength. Oh, yeah. That's cool. The Hanged Man. I don't know who that is. Death is Johnny Darko, which I think is really yeah. cool. Oh, that's like the best. There's not that many um, movies on TikTok, so Jess isn't familiar with a lot. Whoa. It's fine. I'm getting better. Whoa. Last week, all I had was Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here we go. High Priestess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good card. And we got uh, the Moon. It's Bowie. It's uh, Jeff Bold Goblin man. King. Boy. <laughs> Can I too pick a card? Pick a card. Any card. Choose you. Oh, let's do a tarot reading live. Can you get no, a little no, miniature bits for your like, tarot cards to sleep in next yeah, to you? Scarface. No, no, I have my tarot cards. Yeah, no, this, we keep, that in, keep that in your head. <laughs> but no, um, tarot cards, because like, the whole thing is for tarot cards to get to know Godfather. you better. First off, there's a rule that you can't buy yourself tarot cards. Someone has to gift you tarot, gift you tarot cards. Mm. I don't believe that, but whatever. Oh. Do what you want. Here you go, You're not a real um, witch, are you? Uh, well... What? <laughs> um, but and then you make him sleep next to you, and they get to know, and then you can do the readings and stuff like that. But tarot is cool, and these tarot's are extra cool. So that's the movie tarot. Did you just say make the card sleep next to you? Yeah, like I have As... my cards under my pillow. Like anyway, make we've got them uh, sleep. Jeez, I don't know what you. <laughs> nanai cards, nanai. If you want, we'll just see. We'll just see. <laughs> we've got some other cool card options that have come in. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we've got um, Alice's Tea Party Cocktails, which is pretty cool. So oh. everything you need to create your own whimsical, love that they use that word, um, Mad Hatter's Tea Party. So this is pretty cool. Um, so it's got a whole bunch of different cards for you to put together a cute little garden party. Mm, fantasy grog. Yeah, <laughs> fantasy grog. I like yeah, it. I like very it. cute. I like whimsy. And the next up, we also have this Harry Potter Spell Magic matching game. So it comes with uh, 50 full color printed cards, but there are 25 spells. So you know how you like lay them out and you have to play match? You know, you turn them oh. over, you have to find the matchy cards, so that's what it is. But it goes through all the different spells. So on the back here, I can see when Garden Lover goes here, and Avada Kedavra! Oh. Avada Kedavra! <laughs> <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is cool. We've also got uh, Clash of the 90s, so the raddest decade in a game, I, I have to agree. The As raddest? The Excuse me, I'm a 90s baby, <laughs> so, so please. Look, they've even got a Nintendo 64 butterfly clips on there. That's rad. This is very important. <laughs> both of those as well. Yeah. <laughs> You no, no, no. got your Nintendo 64s <laughs> through <laughs> ill-gotten means. All right, so a whole bunch of like You're trivia cards. Baby. Get out of here. <laughs> and you got you to pick out the 90s stuff. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Stop bugging and play this card game. Stop bugging. Stop oh, bugging. Look, I'm going to start saying Look, it's bugging. even got the, oh. the first one. I always Max. wanted one of those. So did I. Strap in for an evening. Can we take what's in the one of the cards look like? Can we see the cards? No. No. Oh, I thought they were shush, open. Shush. Yeah. Um, RIP. Jess, we've got some cool figures from... Um, um, SH figures? Yeah. Figure arts? Yes, we do. We have a good range of anime ones. Uh, so first up, we have Sukuna from Jujutsu Kaisen. Looking really cool with oh. multiple different faces and things like that. Change. We also got some hands. Getting hands. Uh, it just looks really cool with all the tattoos and stuff and the markings on. It's really, really cool. Really high quality. It's a sleigh. Next up, we also have... Uh, I believe I that's so. Vegeta uh, with different head sculpts, hands, and things like that. I really love the colors and the metallic finish on his hair. That's really cool. And then one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just want to highlight this awesome kick he's doing on the back of the box there. Oh, cool. wow. Wow. Damn. 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 
Correct. And then next up we have the incredible Denji <laughs> from uh, Chainsaw so Man, a uh, great anime, uh, my favorite anime as of recently. Um, and there he is with his chainsaw arms, his chainsaw head, and he has his little tie. And then he also have different uh, heads and stuff like that when he goes crazy and he's like, Bleh. and he loses all his blood. Uh, if, if you know, you know. Uh, but really, really cool. It's like a poorly translated version of Evil Dead. Slay. <laughs> Did you want me to record? Yeah, you may as well. No, oh, well, I'm right Records. here. Um, who could it be now? It's Men at Work. Uh, Men at Work, uh, this one oh, is their give first. Me a chance to who guess. can it be now? Do, 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 do. Anyway, uh, this is their first album and it has a whole range of bangers, including Who Can It Be Now, <laughs> Down Under, and of course, uh, Be Good Johnny, which is my favourite Men at Work song. Be good, be good. Um, and just a really cool Australian album. Next up, we're talking about another great show now, and this is Julia Jacqueline Crushing, which is a very popular kind of alternative indie kind of sound. Think of like Courtney Barnett, Jen Clower, and that kind of vibe. Uh, but she has a song on here uh, called Pressure to Party, which I believe did very well in a Triple J House 100, if I can remember. But this one is pressed on orange vinyl, which is a sleigh. Next up, Bianca, I'm sure you'll be excited about this. It's Ghost. 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 Yes, I love me Ghost. So this is uh, Phantom Mind, Press on Clear Vinyl, which is really cool about what is really cool about this. It's a whole cover album. So Ghost is very ethereal and ballad-like and full-on. So they've just got a few songs to cover. My favorite one off this would be We Don't Need Another Hero, a cover of Tina Turner. All right, Queen. So That's good. cool. Love them. Next up, we got Alt J with an awesome wave uh, press on fern green vinyl. This, if you know the song Breeze Blocks, it's on here. It's all that matters. Yes. Breeze Blocks. It's like I really love the cover and the uh, color of the vinyl matches really perfectly to this. So if you're a variant collector in regards to colors and stuff like that, definitely pick this one up. Next up, we have another great album, Dr. Drake the Chronic. Oh. Uh, this is his first new album after leaving NWA and the record label associated due to money issues. But oh, what's no. made this album really great is this is what puts Snoop Dogg on the map with the song Nothing But A G Thing, um, which I also know from uh, GTA San Andreas because it was the mini game that you would dance to as CJ. But really cool. And the artwork is actually based off rolling papers. What a slay. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, I haven't seen this movie, but the soundtrack looks really interesting to me. This is Singles, um, and this has a lot of like grunge music. So we're talking, you know, Wood by Alice in Chains. We've got, uh, I know we've got some more Chris Cornell around. Where is it? Where is it? I know what song I'm talking about. I swear to God. Yep, I can't find it. Uh, so it's got things by Screaming Cheese, uh, Screaming Trees, Bell, Pearl Jam, Drowned by Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah, shh. We're good. Um, and a bunch of cool things like that. Nice. So that's wicked. Second last, we've got The Killers Direct Hits. This is the best of um, Killers album, which I feel like is a must have in any collection. Everyone loves The Killers. Everyone at least knows Mr. Brightside and why not have Mr. Brightside on vinyl? So Mr. Brightside, somebody told me, human, spaceman and all that good stuff. So definitely check like, that one out. Like 90% of them are going to be up in one album. Yeah, pretty much, but it's fine. <laughs> And when we were young, that's all that matters. Definitely a good pickup. And last but not least, one I know Andy's really excited about, we've got The Left of the Middle by Natalie and Bruglia, Daniel John's ex-wife. Um, and this has torn on it. so many things I can't touch on torn. It's got torn on it. I'm all out of faith. This <laughs> how I feel. Um, it has other songs, but it's got torn. And it's also pressed on blue vinyl. So that's a really cool yeah, record. Yeah, you feel blue because you're torn, you're lighting on Do the floor. Do they look like her eyes? Bro, those are some vinyls there themselves. And the, yeah. Spin look at them baby around. blues. Spin this around. Yeah, beautiful. Hi, Natalie. Slay. Um... Yeah, what else? Records, yay! Records are done! Yeah, records. Hey guys, from Necker, we've got some awesome new figures that have come in. Uh, let's take a look at first some of some, uh, the Toonie, well I guess the, the, the Toon line from Necker. We've got a nice sweet Ace Ventura uh, pet That is really cool. Uh, with Animal Friends and Alternate Head. There we go, the little, uh, little Animal Friends, a little Alternate Head. These pants look really good. Really nice sculpted t-shirt. Nice, nice creases in there. Really like the, um, you know, the flow of the fabric in that. It's really good. It's got that um, handy on Pat. 
Uh, he features an alternate and sassy ahead. So, yeah, just, mm. Mm. Um, so sassy. <laughs> yes. And then it says, you can count on me to rescue your missing third post haste. And without error, guaranteed. And then it says, only guarantee, not guaranteed. Um, <laughs> it reminds me of like, the artwork from um, the game Psychonauts, or like how exaggerated mm. and stuff it is. Mm. Uh, and then we've got uh, Toonie Cherries. Uh, we have uh, Quint and uh, the shark from Jaws. <clears throat> You got Fun. accessories like a shark fin and um, a knife. Does he um, fit in the mouth? <coughs> he does. I think he does. He, nice. He does. Um, yeah, nice like movie theater um, box artwork there, which is really cool. <coughs> and we've got uh, Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson sisters. Yes. Look at all Toonie. Yeah. Baddie. I From think the these movie. Are really Hocus. cool. They're super neat. Super yeah. neat. Uh, in terms of cloth figures, we've got uh, a couple of Iron Maiden uh, Eddies. We've got Aces High Eddie, um, features fabric clothing, which is really cool. And we've got um, Aces High Eddie, and that is the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cool. Thanks, Good. Andy, for putting on the shelf twice. Um, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We've also got uh, Ralphie from A Christmas Story, complete with um, cloth clothing. That's awesome. And a, and a baby gun. What a goofy <coughs> looking uh-huh. kid. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Regular scene. Cool. <laughs> um, and from, yes. from, from Golden yes. Girls, we've got, um, we've got uh, Sophia. Yes. Uh, and Thank Blanche. you, Blanche. And we have Where's Rose. Um, <laughs> and uh, they come with, again, cloth clothing. They're um, so good. Why does Betty White them. not get a single Which has an authentic accessory. 80s sheen to it. Um, so I do really appreciate that. Um, but yeah. Um, Golden Girls action figures. Hell yeah. Um, Hell yeah. In terms, yes. of, uh, in terms of some <laughs> ultimate figures from Neko, we've got um, a variety to show you this evening. Um, we have... Uh, uh, if you're a fan of the film E.T., I'm not. It scares the shit out of me. Um, but we've got um, we've got the ultimate uh, dress-up E.T. Uh, you know, you got your plant pot and E.T. with the with the hat and, and the wig and the dress um, and the little like mink scarf there. Uh, interchangeable hands, interchangeable heads. Uh, really nice retro um, like VHS style '80s packaging, which is fun. A lot of cool ladies designs and stuff and that. Bring the magic and excitement of E.T. and the Terra home. Look at that. It's very oh, cool. Terra. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, ah, ah. Oh, Terrifying God. sounds from that film that are lodged in my mind. I uh, chatting about it earlier. I think I saw the film too young in that what I remember from the Andy movie has are trauma. really dark <laughs> moments. Not yeah. the uplifting, getting home. Just, yeah, yeah. just people in hazmat suits walking through uh, windows and... Massive like biohazard like corridors being un- unwound yeah. and, and the frogs and what's the frogs with the jars? I don't, I don't remember, remember that. that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've got ZT ultimate ET. Um, and we've got uh, we've got peanut butter flavor candy, which are actually Reese's pieces in the movie, and um, mm-hmm. we've got his little um, speak and spell system. Flower pot um, and um, little towel that he wears because he's in the he's in the he's in the bike. Man, it's been a long time since I've seen ET. I don't remember half of the references. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, We've got um, telepathic ET as well, and he comes with um, the little speak and spell telephone. Like nice. crossover with the accessories. Hello. It's alright. And he's got a little a little I'll be right here hand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's let's move on to something else. From the 1931 film Dracula, we have the ultimate Count Dracula figure featuring an incredible likeness of Bella Lugosi in the film, featuring three alternate head sculpts. This is the black and white variant of this figure, uh, picturing it as it would appear in the original 1931 film, which had no color. Oh, um, boring. Come with the bat accessory, come with the stand. <laughs> Uh, come with the cane, come with the top hat, and uh, boy, is he spooky. Um, oh, that smug face. Ew. Mm. Yuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no smash. Uh, Fox no. also has some sweet spot mice. Absolute spot <laughs> uh, And speaking of cool, um, 1930s smash. Uh, smash. <laughs> Sorry. 31, 33 films. Uh, we no have regular smash. <laughs> we, right. we have King Kong. <laughs> And uh, this is this is reminiscent of the original King Kong from the 1930s. No, and, Peter Jackson um, Kong. 
<laughs> right, Sandy. <laughs> um, anyway, alternate head, angry Kong. Uh, you've got his little iron um, um, constraints there. Um, got some nice scarring. Um, spot varnish on the blood work there, which is cool. Um, but uh, yeah, really fun Kong piece. Does it come with a plane? Comes with a plane. Yes, nice. New. Sweet, sweet, New. sweet. Um, which is cool. Uh, we got some good smile stuff yes. that's come in that I know Jess is pretty excited about. Uh, all right, quickly, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got Astro from Astro Playroom. So this is a game that is automatically downloaded onto your PS5. I don't like that. Yeah, and it's kind of like how you get to know the like gyroscopic controls of the controller and your system and things like that. So that looked really cool in your gaming setup. Uh, next down, we got Mob Psycho 100, which is a Shin Shigeru Kajiyama. <laughs> And he's got a little angry soul I'm because he, that. yeah, do that. Because <laughs> he has to collect a hundred souls to go mob word. psycho. It looks like <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> Which is, he looking real We're cool. Done. Looking real emo. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Harley Quinn Smash. from Ooh. Suicide Squad, I believe. No, Birds of Prey. Says it right there on the packaging. Yeah, I can't oh. see. I can't read. Um, looking cool, looking all cutesy in her yeah. little gold outfit and her little split dye, tip dyed hair. Ooh, the really, colors. really cool. Next up, we have Nezuko from Demon Slayer. Oh, yes. Looking all chilling, and is that a bone in her head? Yeah, yeah. Wonder what is what is that? <laughs> um, next up, we have the Colossal Titan from Attack on Titan. Looking all the wall. Oh, it's got yeah. little Titan. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> look, at the, look at the little arm you can feed that guy. Look at him. Aww. He looks so hungry. Big old hungry boy. I don't know what uh, he cute like that. Yeah. Next up, we got my melody. Uh, looking real cute with a little, as accessories, like a little umbrella. And she's just chilling with interchangeable faces as well. But, you know, she would look real great with her best friend, Karomi. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Um, I actually own this figure myself and I think it's incredible, uh, very easy to display and not only as well set up and interchange all the different things and thingamabobs and things like that. Uh, but it's Karomi, so buy it. What's uh, the key? What's the key for? Uh, there's a little key sword, I'm guessing. I don't, I don't know. She's from Kingdom Hearts. I don't know Karomi lore. I just like the Karomi. It might be She's a movie that she <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a reference to like one of the movies with my melody and Karomi. Um, there's lore. Little... She was a criminal in that movie. What? She yes. like gets out and she's like collecting keys for some reason. Damn. Anyway, we, we got, got some cool action figures. Pick up the pace. Yeah, we do. Yeah, very, very, uh, we got yeah. some Star Wars Black Series figures to come in. We have uh, from Star Wars Mandalorian. This is the credit collection where the figures uh, are variant uh, release. They come with both a credit from the Star Wars universe and also a paint uh, deco reminiscent of the credits sequences and artwork from um, the the closing. Uh, of the Mandalorian, so it uses credit okay. in two terms there, which is nice. Um, We're playing. It's fun. Um, and we've got uh, from Return of the Jedi, we have the Emperor, um, we have uh, Bib Fortuna, Ugh. we've got um, yes. we've got uh, Paplu, little Paps, um, <laughs> smear that all over your collection. Uh, we've got. No. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> And we've got uh, you need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've got a, a nice uh, Black Series box set that I'm very excited to talk about because you know Channel Channel is really good. But have you guys heard about uh, a little series called Star Wars Andor? No. Can we get the crickets? Wow. Get the crickets. <laughs> I know I've never spoken about it before. Definitely the best thing Star Wars has ever done. This is a really Same. fun deluxe um, box set. Uh, it comes with Cassie and Andor. Um, uh, no. Uh, window packaging this time combated by the fact that they put a slip case in and you have to slide out um, the Cheeky. figure with uh, no plastic window in that. Uh, although Hasbro, I'm aware, are going back to plastic window. It works um, with this, like, it, it does. It does. Uh, it is. Sneaky, so. There we go. They got to be to emo the best droid ever to be on screen in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, he's awesome. Legit. Come on. I hope it comes on the charging dock. I don't know. Let me just check it back. Gas panel. Anyway, that's a, that's a really nice, fun box set. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, from Super 7, we've got some um, some older figures that have come in. We've got uh, the Lord Giver action figure from the Planet of the Apes um, 
uh, collection. We'll give a statue in action big form. Uh, here he is. He's got some articulation. Ooh. Which is oh. pretty cool for okay. a statue. Ooh. Also got a little pedestal there as well. Oh. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we have uh, from Alien. God, I love that packaging. <laughs> we have uh, Bloodied Alien. Um, we've got Parker and we've got Brett um, in an awesomely packaged retro strike um, three pack of reaction figures. Um, yeah, there's multiple different packs that we come with. We've got this one right now. I believe we have sold out some of the other ones, but um, yeah, you can get that sweet, sweet bloodied alien there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hacking and slashing. Uh, we have some New York Comic Con Toho releases that have would have come in recently. We've got uh, the Rodan action figure. This is a glow in the dark Rodan. Um, Where is our thing that we glow with? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, which is That's cool. And uh, Super 7's packaging tends to always glow as well. This one might be a bit slow to react. Uh, but the figure's nice and fast. Mm. Uh, we have also a glow in the dark Mothra from the yeah, Comic Con <laughs> as well. Um, Moth? Yeah. With the egg. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, which is I mean, really that's fun. cool, but I'm not keen on it. I don't like more. <laughs> Get it out of my um, face. <laughs> we've got some uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reactions that have come in. I think this might be wave um, four. Uh, we've got um, Alpha Five. Aye, aye, aye. White Ranger. Oh, yeah. We have uh, Black Ranger um, with Dragon Shield. Cool. We have um, Z Party Patroller. Gross. Ooh, and um, <laughs> what? those are on the three three quarter scale in classic Kenner style. That's the um, I was never a Power Ranger kid, so but they've done uh, a six inch scale um, white Tiger Zord, uh, which comes with a like much bigger card back, which is really cool. And there is the white Tiger Zord. Um, comes with the sword, um, warrior mode. Six inch sword sized. Um, we very have very some uh, releases from uh, some more high end um, releases that have come in from Hot Toys. We have the uh, deluxe version of um, uh, Sp Spider Man, Tom Holland Spider Man from um, Spider Man uh, No Way Home. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, comes cool. with Doc Ox um, arms, and it's got uh, Spider uh, sorry Green Goblin's uh, Goblin bombs there. Uh, on this really, really awesome diorama base that is based around, um, probably influenced by like the bridge scene of uh, earlier in the film. This was announced before the release of the film, so it's got a lot of teasers that were in the trailers, um, such as Doc Ock Arms, oh, Doc yeah. Ock's Arms, and the Goblin Bombs. It's basically um, like a teaser figure. It is, uh, as well as um, showing you know the suit that was made famous in. In Infinity War and Endgame. He's got the iron spider legs. Uh, <laughs> they're rad. Um, so yeah, which is um, which is really cool. Um, so that's that's really fun. Interchangeable heads, interchangeable hands, interchangeable web accessories, interchangeable um, armor. Interchangeable. So many pieces on this thing. Stuff. It is it is insane. There is also a standard version available of just Spider Man without the diorama face and some of the extra accessories as well. But yeah, really, really impressive um, diorama piece, which is cool. <laughs> uh, from Sarge, we've got uh, Leatherface, uh, check from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, a little bracelet there, um, mask, uh, cloth, clothing, apron, pants, um, shirt, nicely tailored, very cool. Um, come to the hammer, come to the chainsaw. Um, uh, as per the title of the film. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. Uh, from Infinite Studio, we've got a couple of cool pieces. Um, you know, we showed you one Bela Lugosi Dracula already, but this is Bela Lugosi Dracula in one six scale from our friends at Infinite Statue, which are a uh, Italian uh, collectibles designer. Appropriately. Oh, I love that little smoke. <laughs> so it's cool good, accessories. It? You've got a um, little candle, really like interesting deco candle, and a cool. um, little, little, little smoke coming off there. Nice um, little orange tip paint details there, Give it, make it look like a flame. This I believe is the deluxe edition. It does come with uh, the casket, um, mm. which is very nice. Hinged, uh, and... Is that some, silk lining? Uh, no, but it is painted in metallic. Um, 
so to make it look like it is. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they've actually sculpted it out so um, you can lay him down. Bundles up your blood. Blair, blah, blah. But yeah, one six scale, you can lie him down, you can close the casket, it's really fun. Uh, but you can also just have him be like, you can just chill. Hey, baby, what's up? What's up, dog? <laughs> um, also, we're going to finish statue. We have Marlon Brando uh, from the 1953 film The Wild One. Um, this is uh, probably the most iconic movie of the 50s uh, and one of the most iconic imagery of. Um, of, I guess, youth culture and rebellion in that era. And uh, uh, still to this day, th this image of Marlon Brenda uh, is instantly recognizable. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, really, really, really nice six scale piece. Um, really intricately sculpted uh, motorcycle. Um, little satchels there, little, um, little uh, trophy in, a race trophy in the back. Um, great likeness of Brenda, the hat, the jacket. Uh, the cuffed Levi's, everything's really, really good. Um, Very fitted jeans. Interestingly mm. enough, the 1953 um, 501 that Brando and, uh, Marlon Brando wears in the film yeah. um, is actually quite uh, an anti-fit jean. This man just has really <laughs> stocky legs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> mm. uh, but, you know, back in the 50s, Levi's did have shrink to fit denim, so you would be able to tailor it to your shape. Are you going to drop some jeans on? Yeah. Some Dang. Knowledge. knowledge, yeah. Um, from Star Wars Toys, we've got Bruce Lee. Um, there are... R.I.P. Baby Boy. Two, uh, two <laughs> versions of this statue. One is a deluxe that comes with a light-up face where, like, the dragon and, and everything does illuminate. That's cool. Um, cool. This is the standard version. Because yes. <laughs> we're notoriously bad at making things light up in the show. So, take a look at the great sculpt work without being distracted by the flashy lights. Yeah. Uh, but nice likeness. Um, you got a mixed media piece, so you got um, cloth clothing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. Uh, from uh, Diamond Select Toys, we've got a Legends in 3D half scale bust of Iron Man from Infinity War and or Endgame. Just Iron Man. <laughs> it's Iron Man. It's Iron Man and um, it's a bust and it's awesome. But uh, it is Iron Man, as you knew and loved him. These are really cool busts as well. I have the um, Spider Gwen version of it. And yeah, it they're, they're, very, they're very really cool. affordable. They're generally around $300, $350. Mm -hmm. um, and the quality and kind of statement size of this piece is really, really good. Um, half scale, uh, and normally if you're looking at a half scale piece, you're looking at something quite elaborate and quite expensive, but um, they've tailored it to a nice um, petite kind of like cut. Uh, that is shelf friendly and allows you to kind of collect a range of things while still making an impact in your collection. Really yeah. nice finish on it too. Very, yeah. very it's cool. Metallic very, details. Yeah. Uh, it's, really it's, clean. Yeah, it's really polished. Um, uh, in the six scale bust collection from Dime Select Toys and General Giant, we have um, Eric Jones and uh, the Crow. It can't with... rain all the time with this in your collection. Mm, it might. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, got the Crow on his shoulder, uh, which is cool. Uh, from um, someone we have Bandai. Bandai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got uh, some Demon Slayer statues, yeah, and Demon they Slayer. have a lot going on. Yeah. Oh. So we've got Nezuko. This is called Nezuko advancing, just being a demon and being awesome and stuff like that. Really love how her hair's kind of just like flowing in the back there. All the effects and everything, very are very cool. Guts or is that blood or something? Uh, mm. It's just like it's power or effects. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if that it's makes just sense. action. It's, <laughs> action. it's <laughs> action. Speaking of action, we've got this piece as well. Um, I Darkie. thought he was a chair, but it's not. It's a man. <laughs> no. So this is Darkie and a Damn character with right. G that I can't remember or pronounce properly. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a really, really cool dynamic looking piece. Like there is a lot going on, a lot of action. And uh, yeah, there's, there's some good details and things like that up there. It's very, very cool. Things. Speaking of action, look, did you end up putting batteries in this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, that confused me too. It's not the big button, but, it's on the side. But the we switch, can't forget this guy switch, before we go switch. to the lightsaber. Oh, yeah. no. no, I said, mean, segue into speaking of action, and then I'll. <laughs> and speaking of yeah, action. I just didn't want to be left to hunt. There no, we go. Forget the little pig. No, thing. it is. This is, a, this is a Peagle. It's from Pure Arts. Uh, it is half Eagle, half Pug. Um, Get it off! This is the, oh, stop it! This is the Batman oh, oh. variant. This is a really fun design and toy figure. Um, 
And yeah, they've done a Batman influenced design. Uh, we don't have the first one, which is really more kind of like um, Robin, not like Robin Batman Robin, but Robin Bird kind of like theme, like colored. Um, but yeah, if you're a fan of pugs and it looks like um, it was birds, just made to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> somebody kill me. Uh, from um, Hasbro, we have the um, Ultimate release of the Elite uh, FX um, Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. Um, if you press the, the button there, the big thing, press it, hold it in, and it's like, it's like yeah. It's, It's like you're touching your sword, you're your sword. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. you can take God. the uh, lightsaber off and uh, start it up, turn it off. It's really the cool thing about it. Uh, but you move it around, it does have sweet um, elite FX movements, uh, does come with a nice stand. And uh, you can actually take this off and replace the top, and you can actually just have the hilt on display as well, which is really cool. Yeah, it's um, very, very cool. Very, very nice pieces. We've got uh, nearly now, we've got a couple of fig pins to talk about. Uh, we've got some um, My Hero Academia ones that have come in. Uh, we've got Hawks. We've got um, oh. Shota Aizella. <laughs> and yeah, it's even hard to read these upside down. Uh, <laughs> ooh, yeah, the other guy. <laughs> and we have. Um, some uh, Sanrio ones. We got we got Hello Kitty. Uh, we got My Melody, and we got Strawberry King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's yo. He's Strawberry sick. King. Very, very cool. Look at that dome. Yeah. <laughs> that is really so really much good. strawberry knowledge. <laughs> um, that's cool. And we've got some collect awesome. We got some uh, yeah. We got some pop culture exclusive pops that have come in. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, take it away. <laughs> Very, very cool. So this is one of our prizes that we'll be spinning the wheel for soon, the spinny, spinny wheel. So Indiana Jones in the um, opening sequence of uh, Temple of Doom. That's the best one. And we've also got this Disney 100, Walt Disney with camera, which is pretty cool. Just encapsulating everything about Walt Disney. Uh, very, very cool. And we also have Lex Luthor. He has just dropped this is celebrating um, 100 years of Warner Brothers. Yeah. What a year to turn a hundred. So, so yes, this is like this is like OG when 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 they made Lex Luthor not like a, a guy just sat in a room being like, I'll get you next time, Superman. Yeah. Uh, this well, is what they did. Me. They they gave him um they gave him a suit, a really sweet action suit. And cool things like um jetpack boots and Sick. um a really powerful glove that hurts Superman when he punches him. And nice. his other glove has a knife in it. Cool. That sounds pretty cool. You know what else is cool? Homewares. Homewares. We've got a whole bunch of homewares. We've got some beauty in the and piece accessories. Stuff here. So Damn we've got right. this cute little Mrs. Potts tea infuser, which you could pair with a chip cup, which is so adorable. Chip is painted, not chip. actually chipped. If yeah, you're not, not a coward, you chip. could put a real chip in him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Don't I guess be a like, coward. <laughs> yeah. Buy two. Buy two. There. Maybe five. Getting it right is going to be difficult. Yeah. From Sailor Moon, we got Artemis. Artemis, yes. Artemis, yes. Thank you, Jess. And the head comes off so you can ah. a little zippy. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> You're my girl! <laughs> <laughs> that was very, very cute. We've also got a Jack Skellington mug. No. Yes. Very good. We also have Ted Lasso stuff. Which yeah, I Ted Lasso. It's done. It's, they're not making that anymore. Really? Can't see that show anymore. Uh, oh. But uh, you can only still see it. But uh, AC Richmond mug. Uh, soccer ball themed mug and drink bottle. Yeah. Nice. Little drink bottle. It's got fish on it. Mm, fish? Yeah. That might be relevant to the show. It is. It's a quote from the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> the very last thing that we've got, Jess. It's, it's like my Lego, but a Pokemon. You got the start of Pokemon. It's the can can region Pikachu. Team. Pikachu. <laughs> you got Pikachu, you got uh, Charmander, you got Squirtle, and you got Bulbasaur. And uh, there is an environmental base that has various different um, power types Ooh, on there. So biomes. <laughs> Which is cool. Yeah. Relating Which is to fun. their powers. Which is yeah. also really cool. Oh, Charizard. Uh, Charizard's the best. Boring. Water. Oh, water. 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 <laughs> it's water. It's the best. We're talking about the best. It's water. Guys. It's water. Um, I disagree. Anyways, prize time. Let's give away some prizes. What are we Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's Let's do this. 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 Let's do
the grand prize of this week's fine episode. It is, of course, the Stranger Things backpack from our friends at Lounge Fly. We're spinning. It's pretty medium spin. Wheel. <laughs> spin uh, and the person spin to win wheel. Swing the Bear Bear is wow, wow, Kelly wow, Corfe. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> you have won Stranger Things backpack. Uh, please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your postal information, your email address. We'll get that sent out straight away if we can next week. Look, it's, um, it's we so also dead. are spinning oh, no, next for <laughs> the Indiana Jones and uh, Temple of Doom what? White Tuxedo uh, Pop Culture Exclusive. The winner of the Indiana Jones Pop is Daniel Hodgson. Daniel, congratulations. Daniel, congratulations. Yep. Uh, you have won a private message on Facebook with your name. Po- uh, please send us a private message on Facebook. You've won Indiana Jones. Please send us a private message Good on Facebook. God. That makes more sense. Uh, anything you'd want a parcel sent to you, just give us all that information. Uh, we're going to spin twice more for the other pop culture exclusives Ooh, that have been released what? today. What? Let's spin for Lex Luthor. Dan Elson. Lucky Luth. Mr. Luthor. Luthor. Um, <laughs> and see he's going to win. Sweet pinky green. Oh, 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 sorry. Go spin again. Uh, uh, uh. Nobody gets two prizes. That's Classic our rule. Classic Dan. Diva. Congratulations, D. Uh, uh, these are all on the road, just to let you just think it harder. Um, please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your postal information, your email address. We'll get it sent out next week. And one big spin uh, for the Walt Disney uh, with camera. Pop culture exclusive figure. Damn, girl. In the meantime, look at this little picture of him on the back. Oh, that's Aww. nice. That's what they based the pop book. Guys, we're waiting for this spin to end. Um, you might want to check out our website because we're 20% off uh, ah. everything. Keep going. 20% off <laughs> all in stock products. Uh, definitely this weekend. Definitely next week and maybe a little longer. Who knows? Uh, we haven't decided yet. Um, but uh, please do ben jump Lemmy. on ben to Lemmy. check that out. Uh, ben, you've won the Walt Disney Pop. Please send us a private message on Facebook. Your name, personal information, your email address. We'll get it sent out. And guys, get 20% off uh, <laughs> in the financial yeah. sale, in store, online. We're also at Supernova in Sydney this weekend. We can get a great deal there as well. Do come by and check us out there. Um, otherwise, come down to Geelong, get a great deal in store, or jump on uh, mine tonight and have a look. Uh, yeah, yeah, 20% yeah. off all in-stock products. Um, very little exclusions on top of that. No pre-orders, no existing orders. Um, mm. This is a big deal. Big nice. Sales. Big, doesn't it include space huggers as I'm well? Gonna, I'm not going to specifically <laughs> say that, Jess. Oh, well, okay. Oh, I'm um, going to say it. Do it. <laughs> shut, do it. Shut up, Jess. <laughs> there might, might, be, might be an element to get, you know, a discount on already discounted items. I'm mm. interested. Let's get on Leave that up to you. Well, uh, anyway, guys, it's been a week in review here at Pop Culture. Again, we're at Sydney Supernova this weekend and Perth Supernova next weekend, so they certainly do swing by and see us. Um, uh, we want to be there. We're in, we're in Geelong right now. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, no, we're not. Wait, what? Uh, what? 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 Never mind. Anyway, wrap it up. Uh, and Jess, what? Record Store next week. Who's playing? Record Store next week on Friday, June 23rd. We have Nathan Seeks coming in to do his Ooh. album launch for something rare and beautiful. We're going to have his vinyl available as well as merch. And he's going to be doing an awesome in-store appearance to celebrate the launch. And this will be also the first stop in his tour before he goes on tour to celebrate what? that. Sorry. What was his name again? Nathan Seekst. Yeah, Nathan Seekst. Seekst. I feel like we just... Seekst. Didn't he threw on. it on me, so I Seeks. just kind of... Seeks. Seeks. Um, He's a legend, but yeah. Anyway. We're cool. Uh, check that out next Friday. Uh, guys, it's been a week in review here at Pop Culture. I'm in. This is uh, Bianca. This is Jess. We've got Blake behind the camera and Luke running the show. We will catch you next week for another exciting episode. Until then, uh, stay safe and happy collecting. Folks. See you then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>